This video is sponsored by Altium. Now we are going to have a demo about Mid Journey in which we will see how we can use the Mid Journey. You can uh, use the imaging command, you can upscale your image, you can create variation, and even you can save the image. Okay, now we are, we are in our demo environment. So how you can create your first image? So once you are start using your tool, you will be able to create a limited number of images before needing to subscribe. So you will have around 25 free uses of the slash imaging command or other queries, variations or upscales. So these uses are also known as jobs or GPU miners. So are you ready on a discard server where our mid journey bot has been set up? If so, go to the this here once uh, you need to select one of the newbies channel from the sidebar. So here, after logging into my account, I'm here, and here I can select any newbies channel. Here I've selected this one, newbies 156. 156. Or here you have the text box, and you can see, after selecting this box here, newbies channel, I am provided with a text box. Here I can create my image by uh, creating my prompt. So you need, first of all, you need to select one of the newbies channel from the sidebar. So if you are on the official Mid Journey Discord server and don't see them yet, try restarting your Discord app. Alternatively, you may not be on the official server, so that is okay. So you may also generate images with our tool or another server that has invited and set up the Mid Journey board. So read the uh, instructions there or ask more experienced users to point you towards one of the bot channels on their server. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. Anyways, First of all, you need to use the uh, command, image in command. So to use the mid journey bar, use a discard slash command in a bar channel like newbies. Let's say in this case, we have selected 156 and start typing. So let me type here. I'm going to type image in and then I need to press enter and then uh, you are noticing there is something pop up about your text that is click on the tab or the image in option the prompt field will be created now as in this case it has created and now you can add whatever you want the board to generate as you can see so let's say I'm going to generate uh, cat and dog playing so this is uh, one of the prompt which I'm going to give to my server. So once I'll hit enter, then it has started creating the, here, here is the progress of my input. So here, this is my ID and here this is 12% is done for my prompt get and dog. So now 31% has done. So once it will be done with the 100%, then we can make changes, we can upscale, we can make different variations of our image. So you can also try to press the space bars while uh, like creating in the case of uh, while you are having to write the prompt. So after uh, that you need to wait as the mid journey board processes your request. So here in this case 93% of that is 
done. So request take a minute to generate four options based on your prompt. So here we are, okay. This is our actually the generate image according to my account and my prompt dog and uh, cat and dog playing. So here, as long as you can see what other people are generating, let's say white bedroom with broken mirrors everywhere reflecting a tall mountain. So this is a long uh, actually prompt and you can write different prompts here. But in this case, uh, our prompt is here, this one. This is according to our prompt. Now you have four images, uh, the generated four images, and uh, we have these options here. Let's say, uh, in this case, I'm going to select the fourth one. So uh, I like this image. Let's say I'm just going to upscale it. So while selecting you, so now it will create a different, uh, actually, image according to our prompt. So let me, let us wait for it to be generated a new images here, yes, here. This one is our image that is in uh, in progress and 30, 54% is done uh, after upscaling and even here I can cancel my job, even I can make a different variation of any other, let's say uh, for the uh, first one, or uh, for the third one I'm go just going to uh, select uh, the, I need to select this one and just, okay, it has created another one, another version of this. Oh, okay, so this one is 90% done. After that, I have provided another job to it. Here you can see cat and dog playing. So by, uh, again, uh, I have uh, I have give a command to upscale it, but anyways we can make different variations of it. So here you can see where was our the uh, original four generated images, and now let's say uh, we are here. Uh, this one yes, this one is seventy seven percent done, and this one is upscaled by. So this is already upscale and this is in progress this is also in upscale but anyways after upscaling we may have let's say upscale to max i want to upscale it to maximum so another job is created so i'm going to upscale it for maximum so it is here yes okay it is in a prog okay i'm done it is upscaled to maximum. Then uh, let me, let's say make variations. I want to make the variations of this one so I can create different variations according to this. Yeah, it is making the variation, cat and dog play. Okay, so here you can see it is making different variations of that prompt. So, we are here, yes, this one. So as long as the other, uh, you can see the what other are creating a realistic mix of Pionos and Whitney Spears, uh, and uh, uh, here is uh, steampunk robot face, photorealistic big eyes, front facing profile made out of gears. So anyways, uh, so this is uh, four different versions of our uh, cat and dog so uh, even you can uh, use this one to create different variations again the different variations are being created third zero percent is done for this so we can create different variations of it as well so now it has created almost 43 percent is done for our this one and yeah so these are different variations. We can upscale it, we can make variations of it, out of it. 
okay so we have created this one uh, let's say I'm going to save one of my image here so this one is the image which I want to save okay instead of this I'm going want to save this image which was the variation of that one after upscaling so this yeah I like this one so once uh, as I am on desktop if I want to save it I need to click here on the open original then it will open in a new window or a new tab and then here I can see save my image by uh, going at this option save image as so uh, this is how you can create images uh, in um, using mid journey and how you can assess mid journey access mid journey using discord board and how you can create uh, different type of prompts let me create another prompt here uh, I'm going to write image in space even I can uh, press enter or give space let me see how uh, what okay uh, I'm going to write a prompt let's say I'm going to write artificial intelligence in US uh, or even I can yeah yes let's say USA so what it will create according to my prompt so it is in process it is creating 18% is done okay so 30 31% is done for my prompt okay so 50% 62% is done Eighty one percent is done. Hundred percent is done. Here you can see you can see the flag of US and some artificially intelligent sort of a robot. And this is how you can use uh, mid journey for any prompt. But there are some directions for how you can create prompts, which prompts are uh, particularly useful while we were discussing about the theory behind the mid journey. Uh, like when we were creating the images so when, when we're discussing about the image based generators so <laughs> this is how you can use mid journey so in the next video uh, we will look at dali 2